Okay, now I'm making this video just to show you and to warn you about what happens if you don't choose your U and your DB by, by DX correctly. Okay, so I'm returning to the original problem that we set, this integral of x e to the x. And I'm going to purposefully choose the wrong u. Okay, so you might say to yourself, right, well, actually, um, let's let u be the e to the x and the dv by dx to be x. So the u by dx is e to the x. And v is equal to, well, one half x squared. So I'm integrating x. Okay. Right. So then I put them into my formula. So I get, get u times v is one half x squared e to the x. That seems perfectly reasonable. Okay. And then I'm going to take away the integral of v times du by dx. So that's one half x squared e to the x dx. Okay, so I've substituted it to my formula. Everything looks hunky-dory at the moment. Um, however, um, I now have to integrate this. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to use integration by parts. So um, because it's a product of two functions, where this time I'm going to have my u as well. It's that e to the x. I'm going to make the same mistake again. dv by dx would then be uh, 1 half x squared. Uh, du by dx, let's make sure I'm using the same pens here, du by dx would be e to the x, v would be um, 1 sixth x cubed. Okay, so the next line of this integral, that first bit remains the same. Take away, open bracket, u times v, so that's 1 sixth x cubed e to the x, Take away the integral of 1 sixth x cubed e to the x dx. Close the bracket. 1 half x squared e to the x. Take away 1 sixth x cubed e to the x. Plus the integral of 1 sixth x cubed e to the x. And lo and behold, I've got to an integral here where I'm going to have to use integration by parts again. u equals dv by dx equals etc. And so on and so forth. And the integral that you keep getting on that right hand side will keep will uh, keep increasing in power. You'll get x to the 4, and x to the 5, and x to the 6 each time having to use integration by parts. And you're going to get this infinite series. Okay? Um, that's not what you want. It is really the best answer. Okay, if you got to the point where you're using integration by parts for a third time, you have definitely chosen the wrong value of u here. Um, so make sure you follow the late order here, because otherwise, then this problem gets done in one process of integration by parts. Okay, so the order is very important. It's very important indeed. I cannot hesitate that enough. Or hesitate. Words.